it not going together? Oh my god, this is so bad! <laughs> hey everyone, this is Piano Buffs, and today we're back with a very special video. Today we're celebrating 8,000 subscribers, and we thought we will do something fun. It's pretty crazy, no? <laughs> it is pretty crazy. In a month and a half, we'll reach uh, one year since we've uploaded the first time. Even though it will be a year, it doesn't feel like a year, it feels much shorter. I feel like this year went really fast with all mm -hmm. the video productions and the extra content we were creating on Patreon and so on. So, to celebrate this occasion, we decided to do something kind of funny today. Uh, we spoke with Monica how we used to do these scales exams at school and it's been a while and I don't know about you but I don't really practice the scales that diligently anymore. Mm -hmm. So it would be fun to check what's left of the skills that we once had. I remember it was always very scary to start the lesson because our teacher would always ask for a scale and if you haven't practiced, it's pretty obvious. I actually practiced my scales very honestly into my early bachelor years. I was at the uni already, but I would really start every practice session with some Hanon exercises and then some scales. Don't pretend. No, no, I, I used to do that actually. Okay, but well we want to do like a proper Lithuanian scales exam. So that means you don't only play the scale, but you play all the variations of it, including chords, arpeggios, chromatic scales, dominant chords, and, and diminished, diminished yeah. etc. So and note that there is an extra disadvantage in the way we are seated. So yeah. we are not sitting in the middle, so it will be more awkward. So we have like added difficulty. Yeah, we are doing that on purpose, so we have an excuse why we... Can't play it. <laughs> Can't play it, yeah. Okay. Maybe so we will. Maybe we will. Just don't ask for double, double thirds. thirds. Double thirds is the ultimate boss of the scales exam. All right. So you want to start? Okay. Can you do double octaves, G sharp minor, two octaves up and down? G sharp minor? Yeah. Harmonic scale. Oh my god. Double octaves. G sharp minor. Did you say two octaves, right? Yeah, I meant precisely okay, this. Okay, but the tempo was bad. I'll try to do faster. <laughs> ah, <Yep>. no! <laughs> Could practice a little bit more, yeah. I think. All right. Like, <laughs> we should measure the pulse here. Yeah. So can you now do E flat major, tense, and you go four octaves up, down, okay. and then do the splitting? No! Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! Take your time. Take okay. your time. Why is it not going together? Make it sing. Sing the piano. It's not musical. Stop it! You are distracting me! <laughs> Okay, so left hand is much slower than the right hand. Oh, Jesus. Is, is that necessary to do? Yes, it helps me because I lose the pulse in the left hand. Okay, next thing I practice on Monday is this. Yeah, wait till I ask you something more oh difficult. God, this is so scary. <laughs> okay, next one. Can you play F sharp major? Longer arpeggio, starting on the root inversion, just the left hand. <laughs> he is asking on purpose all the, the weirdest keys. Why would you do that? It's all black keys. Okay. It's okay. How <laughs> can okay, I... Are you using fourth or third on, uh, on the A flat? A here, flat. third. I always find that I have weird third and fourth finger, but... I, I would use the fourth. But it's always a debate. Depending yeah. on... Yeah. It also depends where, like, I don't know. I guess four for me is not that... Yeah, okay. third is okay. better. Uh, can you now do... Ah, I'll go with the, with the difficult one. So, everybody thinks that C major is easy, but it's actually not, because it's all white keys. So, I'll ask you to play 
in C major, a dominant arpeggio, so dominant seventh, uh, which is starting on G. And can you do the second inversion? Okay. But I didn't ah. say left hand. But that, okay. but I was about to say left hand, so that's good. It could be faster, but. Yeah, but I think that's... Is it called the first inversion or the second? I think this is first inversion. Because there are... Starting on G should be root position, yeah. right? And then first inversion is this. And then the second on second D and F third. third. Okay, because yeah. we learned it like uh, quinta cordas, sexta cordas. Why, why are you naming Lithuanian? Because I'm saying how we learned. <laughs> Lithuanian names. Yes, so quinta cord, that's quarta cord. Like German, I think. Yes, yes. German, yeah. Okay, so enough embarrassing me, please. Okay, it's and my now, turn now. <laughs> let's go to Rob. Okay. Um, play me. Play me. You're you're talking like Bashkirov, the legendary <laughs> teacher. What do you play me today? Play a C sharp minor scale in tenth with the separation. Okay. Uh, harmonic or melodic? Harmonic. Harmonic. I don't even remember how to do it. Tenth. Tenth. Ah. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my god, wait, wait. You see it? Sorry. I got it. Oh my god. You see, but left hand is so much slower yeah, than yeah. right hand. But I don't understand. It's a little tricky scale. Yes, yes. Because it's intense. Yes, yes. So you have different. It's, it's intense. It's intense? Because <laughs> it's intense. Okay, so okay, good, good. Another one. I'll add the same one. Yeah, yeah go for it. G sharp minor, intense. Again, then? Again, then. Okay. Uh, with the separation, yeah. uh, harmonic. Harmonic, okay. But I asked double double octaves. It's it's easier, I think. Ah! Okay, I got it. I'm running out of fingers. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> We this could be so working a little bit so more bad. on equality. No, on everything. <laughs> okay. The next one is B flat major, long arpeggio in four octaves, root position. Uh, both hands? Uh, left hand only. Oh, classic. <laughs> okay. I always won wondered if you are a left handed naturally, like you have an advantage because everybody is always asking for left sure, hand. Sure, and yeah. also think about finger because. I would go instead of starting with five. Yeah. Uh, like you would start. Uh, you play with four. Yeah, but I play with three. Yeah, three is. Uh, but here, it's going not that back, good, four yeah. is better. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, four, four. but it's interesting, right? Because I mean, going back to seriousness. It's quite interesting that many times in pieces you might not use this combination of finger. I feel like very often you might use like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? you would, we had this kind of unwritten rule that you would avoid thumbs on the black keys, but it's so often in pieces that you do that. It's kind of not a rule anymore for me at yeah, least. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, yeah. so something more to show off. Exciting. Show something, yeah. Okay, do the octaves. Do the octaves. Play. Diminished, you know? I, oh, yeah, I yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. No, but the harder one is uh, a dominant chord from B flat, both hands in octaves. You sure, but is it dominant of B flat major? So starting on this one? Start from B flat simply. Dominant okay. chord from B flat. Double octaves? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm running out. Oh, it's, it's it's embarrassing to say the least <laughs> my favorite always was uh, chromatic scale starting on D because it's symmetrical 
So, oh. when, so once you hit it, then you, right. you can very easily split it. This one, you know? And also another cool one is 11 arpeggios. I don't know how common is it around the world in different schools Country. of pianism. Uh, but for us, it was like you would go long arpeggio. For example, starting on C, you would do first inversion, minor, C minor. Then you would go the uh, second inversion of the sixth major, which is A flat major. Then you would do sixth degree minor, A minor. Then, then you go sub major. subdominant, which is F major, subdominant minor. minor. And then all the dominant. Then dominant. All the inversions of dominant. Last inversion. And then the eleventh one is the diminished chord. So it's like very cool sequence. So you can see that we still have to go back to school. <laughs> Do you have any favorites as well? Actually, I also like this long eleventh. Arpeggio. Yeah. You can really feel that your muscles are warming up. I just had a thought, again, going back to serious business. It's quite interesting because we've been practicing these scales really every day and so many hours and kind of you think that knowing all the scales incredibly well will help you with pieces, with big pieces. And I think partly it is true, but then in the end, you still need to practice those bits in the piece because there's always a difference coming into the scale or going mm. out of the scale. And there are so many variations variations uh, of things. For me, it's still a skill that stays with you for the rest of your life. So there are certain scales that, you know, I can really play with my eyes closed flawlessly, but other scales, you just have to kind of get back to them. So it, when, once you see them in the piece, you know, it might take a few run-throughs and then it comes alive. So the moral of the story, it's good to practice your scales, <laughs> yeah. I, I would argue. And but, I, I would also argue that it would be useful to include more chords, like for example, the full tone scale. We would never play it in school, but actually in a lot of Ravel and Debussy pieces, you can find this. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. the better fingering this is this. So you play basically. Yeah. It's a bit awkward, but uh, this is how they do. I think, Rob, we can yeah. make this as a challenge. Let's practice those scales and let's come back. Maybe when we have 2,000 subscribers, we can do a video where we will show our great skills. You mean the same questions that we asked? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can see how it looks like without practicing and then practicing. You want to redeem yourself. <laughs> yes, right? yes, because I, I will feel very bad to leave this video just like this okay. without showing okay. what I actually can. Okay. Well, we've, we'll figure it out. Thank you so much for joining us for this fun exam. It was definitely quite scary for us, but we are really thankful for your support and that you keep watching our videos. We couldn't be more excited about the upcoming year for Piano Buffs. If you like our videos, make sure to share them with people that also might like the videos. So if you know some piano students or just people who love classical music and you think that they would enjoy it, please let them know about our channel. We would appreciate this very much. And lastly, if you'd like to contribute to Piano Buffs, please check the links down below where you'll find our Patreon, Discord and a podcast open arted about why making art is more practical than you think. And Monica produces. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.